Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. You know, there was a fight between um, Galalia Fai and a guy called Rodriguez, uh, unheralded fighter. This was on Saturday. This was on the undercard of the Bivol Zerdo main event. And I scored it in 97-93, watching it live. And then a few people afterwards were saying, I don't think Yafai won that fight. I think you got your scorecard wrong. And I'm thinking, really? Okay. And these are people whose opinion I really respect. Like, for example, I think it was yesterday I watched uh, one of um, Chris Andre's videos. And he was, I left a comment and he said, I, I said, I thought Yafai won. He said, no, 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 I don't think, you know, just don't see that Yafai could have won that fight. So I thought, okay. So I went back and watched it. And whereas I scored it 97, 93 for Yafai watching it live, I then scored it 96, 94 for Rodriguez. And I'm thinking, oh, that's weird. So I watched it. That was before I went to work. So I watched it in the morning. Then when I came home from work, I watched it again. And I scored it, uh, well, what was it? Well, I can't, hang on. 96, 94, the first, the, the first rewatch. Second rewatch. I think I had it 90, 97, 93 for Rodriguez. So having scored, for, scored it for EFI watching it live, I then watched it twice subsequently and I scored it for Rodriguez. Now, it got into my head, well, wh why did I get it so wrong as I was watching it live? And this, of course, is a question that, that we have for um, for real judges. We're always, I mean, I'm a, I've done it. We're always saying, well, what are you doing? You know, why is that that judge got it so wrong? You know, what, what a loser. Why, why, is, why has he got a job? Kick him out and all this sort of thing. But we can get it wrong as well. At least I can. And I, I'm, it's not just a case of getting predictions wrong because I, you know, I've had a bad year as far as predictions go. But but watching a fight live, scoring it round for round, doing it as you think, doing it honestly, sometimes you can be wide of the mark. And now... This was the type of fight. First of all, why, why did I score it for your fire initially? Well, my immediate reaction after, as it and I did my video. I mean, ten minutes after I'd watched the fight, um, my immediate reaction was your fire landed the cleaner work, and Rodriguez was scuffing with a lot of punches, throwing an awful lot. He was throwing much, much more than your fire, and he was trying to have the final word, but the slicker work was coming from your fire, and. I just felt that Yafai's tidier work, sharp, sometimes sharper work, was um, edging him the rounds. Even though it was competitive, don't get me wrong, it was a very, very competitive fight. That was my initial reaction. I go back and watch it again. Like I say, I watched it, I don't know what it was, 7 in the morning and then again, probably you know, 7 at night. So a 12 hour, 12 hour gap between the two rewatches. And then I, started, you know, I watched it again for the first time and I thought, no, 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 hang on a minute. Rodriguez is landing punches, and Yafai is actually, miss, even though his his stance, his shape, his his overall sort of ring generalship gives the impression of a more controlled um, skill set of a more controlled um, more controlled tactics, more control, you know, more economical, but nevertheless more productive. When I watched it back, he was missing with a lot of punches that I thought he'd previously scored. And Rodriguez was landing with more punches than I thought he'd scored. So, like I say, it was 90, 96, 94. I ended up with, and I was quite shocked at that. I thought, well, how did I get it so wrong? And then when I watched it again in the evening, I was 97, 93, I think, for Rodriguez, I, th I thought, really? Well, anyway, my point is that sometimes we get these fights wrong. Although, perhaps if I watched it for a fourth time, I'd have it closer again. Or maybe I'd have it a draw. You just don't know. But I thought this was an interesting fight. It was... I still think that Yafai won round... See, the 97-93 on the second rewatch, I'm thinking, that's too wide. That's way too wide. Even if I think Rodriguez is one, that's too wide. And probably if I, I looked at that card and watched it for a fourth time, I'd be thinking, why do I give Rodriguez that round? Why? Some of these rounds were very, very difficult to score. And with fights that, that are like that, the way I normally score a round is break it into three minutes. Who won the first minute? Who won the second minute? If it's one each, who wins the third minute? You give them the round. And of course, that's not, that's not an infallible way of doing things because sometimes you can get it wrong. 
Sometimes, you, you know, or sometimes it's really, really close, you know, and you think, oh, shall I give that minute to that guy? And, you know, so whichever way you break it down, whichever way you slice and dice it, it's still very difficult sometimes to get a scorecard accurate. So I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to sort of put that out there because we slag off these judges and sometimes we do it with absolutely correctly. Um, and there are cases where, you know, the judges just got it so wrong that it's really not forgivable or it's it's not really, you can't overlook it. Like, for example, Catterall beating Josh Taylor, which he clearly beat Josh Taylor and yet Taylor walks away with a split decision. A horrendous decision, one of the worst decisions I've ever seen. I don't think, I don't remember ever getting something that wrong. But with competitive fights where styles are sort of not gelling, but in a sense where they're in a fight where there's a sort of a lot of scuffing, a lot of activity, a lot of um, punches thrown, some missing, some landing, some taken on the gloves. I think it is possible to get it wrong. And it looks like when it comes to, yeah, fine, Rodriguez, I definitely got it wrong. The fight, by the way, is on DAZN. If you want to have a look at it, see what you th see, see who you think won. Um, but of the three watches, I had it two one to Rodriguez, and big up all the people that made me doubt myself because that's what it what it's about. Some you know, several people whose whose opinions I respect um, pointed me in this direction, and yeah, I think I did get it wrong. I think I did get it wrong. So maybe next time there's a close fight where a judge doesn't go the way I thought it was. Maybe I'll forgive him a bit more. <laughs> anyway, if you watch the fight, tell me who you think won. And um, as always, thanks for your time. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It only takes a little second to stick a little uh, jab on that subscribe button. Thank you, as always, for your time. Uh, like the video if you liked it. And we'll speak again soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye for now.